All right, we're looking for trout, folks. We're looking for lakers that are up shallow. We got a water temp, which I don't have. It's probably a couple of degrees, but we are looking for lakers for sure. And the goal is to not spook the dang thing. But we got spot lock in the front, trolling motor control in the back here. And I don't have my, my casting dialed in yet. Oh, there's a giant right below the boat. A giant right below the boat. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no, here he comes. Oh, shit, oh, shit. Oh, my goodness, it's a giant. It's an absolute giant. It's an absolute giant. Oh no! Run if you want to, buddy. Oh my goodness, he hit right below the boat. It's an absolute giant. Oh yes! Big Laker though, holy crap, big Laker. Second one of the day. Ooh, getting bigger at 29 inches. Welcome to episode four of the 2024 Lake Trout Fishing playlist here on the Bennett Fishing Channel. I'm Josh, we are gonna go out and fish isolated humps here on Lake Champlain. These humps range from six feet deep all the way down to about 20 feet deep and around about 30 to 50 feet around them. Lake trout kind of get stacked up on these, stacked up around the perimeter of these humps and just use them to ambush prey here in the spring. Now, if we go out deeper, there are lakers out there more and they're tackling alewife, which is their main forage in this lake. And most of those alewives range from three inches to all the way up to like 12 inches. So there's a lot of forage in this lake. These lakes are, lakers are absolutely fired up. So if you want to watch more of this style video, uh, you can scroll up if you're using your smartphone Look at the description, click on the Laker playlist for 2024. And you can see a how-to video and a couple other lakes here in New England, which I've been tackling. And we are using one bait all day today. We are using the 3 8 ounce swim bait with the three inch glow swim bait on the back of that. And this is chartreuse and it's lead free and it's available on benditfish.com. So what we're gonna, what we're gonna do now is is boat positioning is kind of crucial when you've got wind heading at our face we need to find lakers 180 degrees plus in front of us basically so i need to head down wind and then spin around and because these things are so active i'm just going to troll the line behind me and we're going to hopefully find them here there was three or four fish that were just suspended i mean and that's Happen to be a 29 inch here. Can't complain about that. What I want to do is I want to get behind these fish. And I usually mark a ton right in this area. There's a steep ledge. Oh, there they are. There they are. There's a whole freaking school of them. There they are. And then we're going to use the trolling motor to get close to them. Unfortunately, we're right in line with them. So I still got to head south a little bit. So I got three or four right off the bow at 70 feet. That should have plopped it right in front of their faces. I think. And if you feel like you've messed up your cast, just sprint it in and then recast. You don't want them seeing it necessarily. Oh, there's so many fish. There's no way I'm not getting smoked here. Oh, oh, here. Got him. Got him. Got 
That's fun right there. Get in the net. Uh, just another one. Beauty. Beauty. Going right back in. He's still over there. There's a big rock in front of me, and he's right on it. It's a big fish too. Oh, it's a big fish. Oh yes. It's not that big. Just choked the bait. He was fired up, folks. Just a little guy, but juiced. This whole entire reef right here is just like all rock and stuff on top. And I got a laker hiding right behind a rock right now. I did was getting hit. Got him. You gotta lean back into it, folks. Gotta and power right into him. Big head shakes on this one. Jeez. Whew. Another one. Sorry, I'm backlit. Lost my jig and the fish. There's another fish staring at my jig right now. Got him. That was not the fish I was going for, but I had another line down, luckily. The freaking things will just come and sniff it and eat it. Ridiculous. What would have been funny is if I just twitched the boat and see if my rod loaded up. Oh my goodness, these fish are nuts in this lake. But another one, going right back in. Just bombed that out to about 60. My target's at 35, or was at 35, I'm not sure where. Oh, he hit it on the way down. There, got him. I don't know what's that on him. There it is. That was sweet. That was sweet. On the on the tube, so they're eating tubes too. That's nice. Oh, and he spit the hook. These tube jigs have a stouter hook on them, and they take some force to sink that thing. So I just reeled over them. They chased it, and they short striked it. Here comes one. I don't even know if he ate it. I think he might have just got hooked himself. <laughs> oh no, he ate it all right. It's a big one too. Just another beauty. Just another beauty. Going back in. We should start seeing in Lakers any minute now. Coming up on a shallow, rocky area. There they are. There they are. They're stacked in there. Oh my goodness, they're stacked in there, guys. There is a fish right there at 40. And I have multiple fish in front of me, which I'm not targeting quite yet. All right, there's my jig. 60. Oh, there he is. Got him. It's butt lock. It's bigger fish. Bigger fish. Oh yeah. Bigger fish, and he's freaking out. And there's a ton of Lakers here. An absolute ton. Ooh, nice fat fish, guys. Nice fat fish. Yeah. 
beast mode on that one. That one's freaking, that's a wild fish. It has all its fins, so Vermont does a fin clip. And the greens on them are just absolutely glorious. You can't, it's hard to tell with the GoPro though. Just a super stout 27 incher. Going right back in. And then there was a whole school of fish. Off to one side here, there's a bunch right here. Unless those are rocks. There's one literally right below me. Ooh, 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 ooh. Got him. Well, it's another lake trout, apparently. It's mulling down there like it was a freaking sheephead. Which I still have yet to catch, by the way. Ooh, this one's got like fungus or something on it. Gross. There's a big key to anticipating where they're gonna be by the time your jig sinks to the bottom. So right now I'm right in line with them. Hopefully it stays that way. Well, that was weird. I just hit them and spooked them. Which is not completely uncommon for a lake trout to spook, but it's not as rare as like perch and sunfish and stuff. All right, and I try not to waste my time on a on a school that's not eating in the eating mood. They're all acting weird. They just suspended? No, they're on bottom. All right, hold on, hold on. Wait for it, wait for it. On. On. That thing is giant, dude. <laughs> no. They're all Lakers, they're all just smaller Lakers. There's still seven or eight of them down there. That's a 20, 25 incher. Oh, there's a couple right there. 40. I'm not sure if this. Oh, there's three or four of them right there. Got it! Once he saw that, it was all over. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh my goodness. Big fish, too. Flop themselves right into the net. Ooh, he is feisty. But a nice fish. Nice fish. Going back in. Well, I hope you guys loved the video. This is a two part kind of video. The episode three is actually the how to video of how I was doing, how I was fishing in this video today. So this is just kind of the vlog style. If you made it this far, either click here or click here for the whole playlist or any more lake trout content that you want to see and I'll see you in one of those next videos and if you want to support the channel visit benefish.com